Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Reminiscence, a first person horror game about time travel where time itself appears to be the antagonist. Time is collapsing onto itself and there's only a few precious moments that I've got to try and save my family. If you want to save your family, look down below in the description, the links and the details are down there and you can actually download this game for free. I really hope you enjoy it, if you do, leave this video a like. But yeah, here we go, see you on the other side, let's begin a new game. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. Maybe this time I'll spin around and try and leave. And fail. Never mind. <laughs> okay, what's going on with this? I've got oh. to find them. I haven't much time. Oh. Can I do that again? Oh, well, there you go. That's me time traveling, isn't it? Right, well, let's, let's stay in this timeline to begin with. Do I have a flashlight? I don't believe so. It's quite dark. Um, can't seem to open the cupboards, the drawers... Ah! Oh, even that's locked. Um, okay, well maybe we do actually have to go... What was it? Forward? Backward in time? Backward, I think. Yeah, before it all went to shit. Can I leave here? Damn. <laughs> maybe through here? Ah, that works! Oh. Hi! Hey! Hmm. Don't think that was one of my family members, quite honestly. I'm gonna go this way, yeah. No, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> well, down the hallway we go then. Ah, right. Oh, is it just repeating? That's ironic, really, isn't it? So, Sacramento, man, I have to blame him, do I? So long. Okay. No. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so based on what I'm seeing, I, I'm gonna guess 60s, maybe? Is there a- oh, hang on, maybe there's a date on the paper? Controversy surrounding Shasta Dam, dam workers claim unpaid hours, antique roadshow... But hey, at least the crime rate is spiralling down. And uh, yeah, I didn't see a date, unfortunately. TV? The TV does not work, apparently. Right, um, okay... Guess I can't move this out the way. Maybe I can. Hang on. Interact and roll back. Oh. Oh! Wow, okay. Oh, this reminds me of that other indie horror game that's being developed. I think it's called Tape. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. Oh, and this leads down to a basement. Yeah, I'd rather not, to be perfectly honest. Let's just stay to these rather safe areas up here, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> so, this is locked. Yeah. But, right, I haven't tried this door. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I do like the decor. Right, so, uh, are we going to find some keys? Maybe some more things to roll back? That was pretty cool, actually. Okay, hang on, there's something to read down here. There you go. It seems like with certain things you can sort of zoom in if you left-click. Uh, dear Smudge, you must understand that when presented with such a claim, we openly have our doubts about its legitimacy. I normally wouldn't even bother responding to something as far-fetched as this, but your schematics, as unlikely as it may be, have some legitimacy to them. I would have recommended not speaking to the press first. If this really does work, this will change the world as we know it. And I can't guarantee you it'll be for the best. Cautiously, Steve Evans, head of CSU Physics Department, right. So, I'm that Sacramento man, aren't I? It's me I have to blame for this. Fuck. <laughs> um, right, well, let's, let's get out of here. Maybe let's check out the basement now. It seems like I can't, you know, undo this or, or redo this. I can't tip it back down. Okay. Is that something else I can do? A song. Why does it sound familiar? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure, but I'm gonna roll this back. Okay. And you can just stop it midway. Oh, we're rebuilding a clock, it looks like. A grandfather clock. Right. So is this how the time travel works? It's it's all about the clocks? Apparently so. But not here. Maybe I should try the clock at a lobby again. Uh, okay. So, wait, wh where are we now? This is a, a, a different time? Right. 
police are still on the lookout for us. Oh! Gone this week the of hmm. Police are still on the lookout for a oh, okay. Just like the radio, it's just repeating itself. Oh, this has changed, hasn't it? Yeah. Pentagon R&D accused of high treason. Time travels worldwide repercussions. Riots nationwide. Anomalous storms. Bloody hell. Okay, yeah. Um, so, let's see. It was all my fault. Huh. Okay. Uh. There's laughing coming from the pet. Hmm. Alright. What? <laughs> Is that glue to the wall? A little bit strange, isn't it? We got. Okay, we've got a key, and I can actually climb on the desk, it looks like. Back to that lobby. Find that old clock. Okay, right, yes. Oh, of course, yeah, in this timeline it was locked, wasn't it? That's right. Whoa. It just got darker. Soon? What do you mean? Whoa! Oh, okay. He's a, he's a tall guy, isn't he? Bloody hell. Right. Okay, so I'm obviously going back to the lobby. Let's just... Oh, we can actually go through here now. Yeah, let's just explore and let's see uh, what else we can do. Another broken fridge. Yeah, can't open the cupboards, can't open the drawers, it looks like, unfortunately. That seems to be another clock. This won't work without a pendulum. Oh. It's gotta be around here somewhere. It... So time travel needs a pendulum. Odd. And it seems to be broken. Fair enough. Okay, well... When you say it's gotta be around here somewhere, do you mean this room, or in this time, or in this house at some point? It's it's hard to tell, isn't it? The date is January 6, 1958. 58. What? <laughs> it's all muddled up, isn't it? Yeah. Everything's out of place. Oh. Okay, the door is crying. Oh come on, really? Do I not get a flashlight in this game? There are some really dark areas. What's that? It's Ooh. frozen solid? There's gotta be a way to get that out. That's not the pendulum, is it? <laughs> it could be. What the fuck was that? Who is in here? Someone hiding back there? No? It's a big old toilet, but it doesn't work. Never mind. Maybe it'll work in a different time. Okay, Dr. Smudge, I'm writing this in the hope that it reaches your eyes only. We need to discuss the side effects of this technology ASAP. The rest of the research team is beyond apathetic to studying the subject further. There's a direct connection between the storms in Southeast Asia and our experiments. Of that, I'm certain. The storm's growth coincides with our use of the technology. More importantly, I'm aware of what happened during the experiments, of what lied in between. We really must discuss your experience then to gauge your sanity and your commitment to the project. Because, to be completely honest, you've been acting very strange since that encounter. What do you mean it promised you something? Urgently, Jim Dagwoods. R&D. Right, okay. It promised me something. Interesting. Did that used to be there? Right. Okay, we got this open. So... Okay. Didn't realize I could actually have a look at these. There you go. Alright, can I have a look at all of them? Ooh. History has been made. <laughs> History has been made today as the Pentagon R&D Department confirms they've sent a man back in time and successfully returned him to our time completely unscathed. <laughs> Experts say the applications of such technology are limitless and its benefits are calculable. And it's just going to repeat, I take it. Or maybe not. Oh no, there you go, there you go. I quite like the voice acting, as cheesy as it might be. Can we go in here now? Ah, right. Okay. Oh, yeah, take the plug out. The water would drain, it won't freeze up, and yeah, perfect. Is this different now? Yep, okay, it looks like it. Okay, so, Smudge, I know the department keeps asking you this, and every time you've chosen to dodge the question, but I really must ask for the sake of my own curiosity, and perhaps our safety, this question again. Just how on earth did you come up with these schematics? With all due respect, your background in physics doesn't come close to explaining how you came up with such advanced designs. This is miles ahead of what the greatest minds have been doing for decades. 
usually would accuse someone like this of having simply stolen someone else's work, but in your case, I don't think anyone alive is capable of coming up with this. These designs look completely foreign. Yes, maybe this is what I was promised. This knowledge. I would appreciate an honest answer, Jim Dagwood's right. Yeah, well, um, I don't think it was me, precisely. Right, now with that out, I should be able to- I should be able to go back, right, and, uh, and pick up that pendulum, I'm hoping? Alright. Maybe this was here the entire time, I'm really- wait, hang on, what? Okay, this is really weird. This is really weird. Ah, huh, okay. I like this. I like this a lot. No, is... Is that... Oh. Is that you? Oh, come on. What is this? <laughs> it's feeling a little bit more like Layers of Fear or, you know, Visage or something now. <laughs> Just keep on going right. Maybe I have to turn back on myself. Oh, look at this. Oh. What's that red light? Oh, please, help, help, why, get out. Oh. Damn, this is good. This is, this is really good. I think this is a, a student project, by the way. This is absolutely fantastic. Oh, oh, finally. Right, yes. And there it is. A pendulum? Yeah. Are any of my clocks missing pieces? I believe they are. So, hang on, it, it, let's just have a look at this again. Uh, right, okay, I've already read this one. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Hey. Ooh. Yeah, pretty effective scares as well. I'm actually very impressed. The date is January 6th, Whoa. Okay, right. Well, it's off the wall now. Okay, so, can I... Yeah, let's see if we can do this in this time. So it goes here? Yes. Alright. Uh, oh, what was that? Hang on. Is... Is that a tape in that cuckoo's mouth? Uh, it, it might be. Hang on. Let's roll it back a little bit. Can we not? Does it not happen immediately? Shouldn't it happen at three? Oh. Oh, I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! Okay, um, so... Oh, okay, it must be loading something in. Must be loading quite a lot in the tape. Wait, the door's just fucking locked now, okay. Wait, there's a- there's a deck kit. what? <laughs> okay. What's this? Are you happy, honey? On one breath of the man. The new TV that he brought us. Walk not in this council of the invited north. Now we can watch TV together in daddy's and mommy's room. Stand in the way of sinners, north is in the seat of scoffers. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that door ain't closing. <laughs> oh, shit! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! This is really quite exceptional. I love this. Oh god, look at that. So oh, what we got now? Look at all this. Um, well, the details are blurry, but it's the jump. No, this is me, is it? The jump. Yes, the jump through the space between time. A sort of violet blue space dotted with bright white moats. And we weren't alone. We weren't alone. Now you with something that promised you something, right? So how can you describe your journey? Ah, okay. Oh, we got this open now. Was that a safe? I oh don't remember the code. Ah. Maybe she said it to something she saw on TV. Really? Okay. So can we mess around with the TV? Nah, I still can't. I'm still just replaying that. And this is here now. Well, let's see. Okay, it's going to be like a five-digit combination by the looks of it. Right. What did it say on the tape? Yes, yes, the TV in Mummy and Daddy's room, right? Late. Damn it, I don't have time for this. I've got to go back. I've got to go back. Okay, right. Um, so... Ooh. Yeah. 
This is good. I, I think I want to go to the basement if possible. That's still available, right? That, that clock's still working down there? Yep. Okay. Alright, and we're back. Maybe, maybe now I can play around with the TV and find the code. Alright, it's, it's changed again. And this is upside down. <laughs> Uh, no, again, I can't mess with the dials, but maybe the dials are the clue. It's five digits, right? So, it, would it all be one? Can't be. It, it just couldn't be, right? Right, okay, the newspaper. American GDP jumps 245%. The industrialization of the time machine. Record high production. Right. Through here. Uh, <laughs> shit's going a bit weird. Oh, and this... This just flat out doesn't work. What's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was going to be another note. It's a breadboard. Never mind. What was that? Oh, it's this photo. Is that us? Is that me on the right? Maybe. Or maybe it's my parents or something. Right. Later this week, the Time Machine's inventor releases a new book titled The End of Regret, in which he claims that, with his invention, none shall ever feel regret again. But why regret something you did if you can simply go back in time and do it over? Hmm. Because if you do, something like this happens, presumably. I'm reminded of the TV show Twelve Monkeys, which I fairly recently finished watching. It's pretty good. Later, Miss. Okay. Well, this seems new. I just feel like I want to just check every room each time I jump. Uh, so, yeah. Dr. Smudge. I'm going to confide in you. Yes, we may have data that shows a link between the meteorological disasters and our usage of time travel technology. That said, you're a smart man. You know what the consequences would be if such information went public, and you're smart enough to understand that whatever catastrophe is going on on the other side of the world will be properly resolved in time. Hmm. <laughs> we can't risk the amazing economical growth this country's had thanks to your technology. I'm sure you understand the ramifications of undergoing such an investigation and would ask for your cooperation in keeping this under wraps. Your silence is golden! From Christopher there, right. Okay. Later this week for time machines and so, back here. I'm just looking for any sort of clue to a code, and I still can't leave. That's such a shame. Um, Later this week for time machines and venture releases a new book. Well, there's the bedroom still. Oh! Oh dear. Oh, I don't like this. What the fuck? What the fuck? That was really good. <laughs> what the fuck, though? The guy invented the time machine and the clapper light, too. Oh, I can't really see where I'm going. Right. <laughs> right, so. That's enough of that, thanks. What we got here? Ah, is it one? Oh. Ah, oh, this. this Oh, I thought it was five digits, but three, seven, eight. Hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Is that like a? If I just let it play out, it's one, two, three. Right. It's sort of happening. I got to reverse it to see three, seven, eight, four, two, one. Three, seven, eight, four, two, one. Okay. I've just made a note of that. Let's try and open the safe, shall we? Ah, that was good. Oh Christ! What now? Oh dear. New developments on the Sacramento disappearing story tonight, as police suspecting to be responsible. The same man who, a few weeks ago, unveiled what he claims to be time-traveling technology to the world. Mm. New developments on the Sacramento disappearing story tonight, as this police suspecting. No, that's not working. We've got. A few weeks ago, unveiled what he claims. Got a bloody handprint here. Oh, and on the wall too. New developments. Was this here before? I can't seem to remove it from the wall. What about this door? Ah, ah. <laughs> this is really good. Right. Okay, no more newspaper to read by the looks of it. Uh, through here? Uh, what? Oh, no! Oh, shit! Well, I, I don't know if that was supposed to happen. <laughs> to decide if an evacuation shall be ordered. Stand by for official instructions. Right. This time, I don't think I'm going to be going through this door. 
No, no. I think this might be a bit of an oversight. That's a bug that needs to be fixed. What about this door? Does that work? Okay. A perversion of a heavenly father's grand design. Beware, my brothers and sisters, or the devil walks among us this hour, and he bears a medallion made of a brass of Gomorrah in the land of Saddam. <laughs> It's pretty amusing, quite honestly. I, I do quite like the voice acting. Look, uh, I don't care about no <sighs> oh, from Southeast Asia. These accusations are clearly a communist plot against the good progress being made here in America. <laughs> of course, of course. Okay, again, I'm going to be siding with this door. This doesn't get me the killed. On the Sacramento disappearing store tonight, as police are suspecting you to be responsible. Me? The man who scorched his wife and child alive, supposedly in the name of progress, only for the world to hold you in ridicule. Ooh. Did I actually do that? Right, let's try this again. Door in the corner. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Jesus. Oh, it's that photo, isn't it? What? What? <laughs> I'm back! I'm back! Okay, let me just check the paper. Yep, it's that one again. Right, okay, and uh... Well, I've got the code. I just, I just need to, I just need to do a little bit more time traveling. Yeah, just a little bit more time traveling. Okay, up we go. Uh, I think I should be able to go in and sort this out. <laughs> oh. Right, it's that one again, isn't it? Oh, I've made a note. It looks like three seven eight four two one. I didn't need to make a note myself. That's the code to the safe. Yeah. Four two one, yeah. Four two one. Right. Oh, and it's a record. Right. Well, here we are. Wait, what? That takes me back in time as well. Wait, where am I right now? All quiet on the eastern coast. Freak storm situation under control. Help mobilized. Okay. Is that right? Let me just see. Can we go this way? Can we go to the basement? No. No, I can't. Yeah, I don't think it's quite right yet. No. It, whoa! Oh god, it's just happening whenever it wants. Damn, look at this. Wait. Okay. They've just been erased? Rubbed out? tip would out? Anything down here? No? Can we just leave? Uh, do I want to? <laughs> Probably not. Oh god, it's so dark. Oh! No? Yes? Or... maybe? Okay, can we open them all? Late. This one? No? Oh no, no, no is blocked up, I think. Okay, what about yes? What does this say? Just late? You left us late. You killed us. Oh, more blood. Let's not go that way. Let's try this door, shall we? Okay. It can't be too late. It can't be. I fear it might be. Some things just can't be undone. Quiet, 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 quiet. Right, okay, yeah, this is... This is wrong. This is off. No. Okay. The basement mate. Oh. What the fuck? Hang on. Hang on. You know those hallucination memory loss stories you heard in the papers? Yes, and I suspect that sort of claim be a product of they're not hallucinations. They're real. And whatever contacted us in that space was very real. Oh. Okay. Well, we're seeing whatever contacted us. Again, quiet, quiet, quiet. It's just reversed. Right, okay. This way? Wait, what? What? <laughs> it's just endless doors. Oh, man. Okay, cool, cool. I really, really like this. And look at that. I mean, should I be seeing that? I'm not actually sure, but I kind of like that I am. Feels like it could be another glitch, though. Right, so this way? Back on myself? Whoa, Jesus Christ. Right, let's try this again. It's toying with me. Yeah, it is. I can still do this. This thing, whatever it is, it's beyond time. I still have time. 
Right, okay. <laughs> Something big, dark, and evil. Evil? How could you tell? It, it sent us visions. Promises of wealth and power. Of the immense potential of this technology. Ah, well, he certainly isn't wrong there, is he? No, no. We could tell it was evil. It knew very personal things about us. Things we would never tell anyone. And he was offering a solution. Hmm. Right, well, you shouldn't have made a deal with the devil, buddy. Okay. That looks like it might be the way through. Yep, okay. <laughs> Every time I walk through this door, I've got to check the floor, but... Right. Okay. That was a bit weird. Fellow crewmates forgot past trauma, got over phobias they had, and... But wouldn't that be a good thing? I... No, there's no way. I can't help but think it's trying to make us forget about something else entirely. Like what? I... I don't know. And I've forgotten. But the rest of the research team seems much too preoccupied at what he's shown us to bother looking into it. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, gee, bloody hell! Oh my god! This game is all over the place, but it's absolutely amazing. It... Uh, brilliant. Utterly brilliant. Damn, okay, right. Well, through here? Okay, ah, uh, maybe the basement. Yeah, the basement, that's right. Yeah, but there's no clog, just that... Just that record. A song. That's it. That's the song! Oh. Oh, that I heard when I was rebuilding the grandfather clock? What? What? What happened? I was supposed to remember. I was... It was supposed to be over. And I still can't leave. <laughs> so, wait, hang on. Oh no, come on. Well, I can't use this either, actually. I wondered if we were right back at the beginning, but I don't think so. Wait, what? God damn, this game is full of surprises, isn't it? Was... was that always here? No. No, it definitely wasn't. No, it... it couldn't be. Okay. Through here? A typewriter? You want me to type? Oh shit. Oh. It is too late. You have fulfilled your purpose admirably. Drunk on your own oh. denial, tearing the way onto your world open with every step. I can't move. You could have stopped it, you know. But now, you are too late. Cling to the false hope I have given you. Return and delay the inevitable. It matters not. Soon enough, there will be none but. Whoa. Oh shit, and there's two of you. Okay. And that's it. That's the end. Oh, well, I, I can still play. But I still can't leave, not even at the end. I think that's still locked. Hang on, I can... Am I just going through this again? I think I'm just going through this again. And there you go. So you can go through it again, but it's futile. You can't change a thing. I'm just getting toyed with. But that was Reminiscence, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, because I really enjoyed playing it. I had a blast with this game. It might be my favourite student game that I've ever played. It just crammed so much into such a short period of time. A lot of surprises around the corner. I really like the environments. I like changing between the different times, the puzzles, the background lore. The scares all seem to work as well. They're all quite varied. Yeah. This game really is exceptional, and it really did catch me off guard. Um, obviously, there's a few things that do need to be ironed out, like, uh, well, I don't think I'm meant to go through a doorway and fall to my death or get forced to restart. It would be nice if you see all of the subtitles for the, uh, the stuff that's getting spoken about. But, you know, aside from those little nitpicks, this was absolutely wonderful, and I really, really enjoyed my time with it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Maybe this time. Maybe this time.
Maybe this time I'll spin around and try and leave. And fail. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Oh! Wow, okay. It's me I have to blame for this. Fuck. <laughs> Soon? What do you mean? Whoa! There you go. Alright, can I have a look at all of them? Ooh. Right, now with that out, I should be able to... I should be able to go back. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Hey. Ooh. Oh, shit. Whoa. What's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was going to be another note. It's a breadboard. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. We have confirmation of the what? Oh, no. Uh. Ooh. Can we just leave? Uh. Do I want to? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Right, okay. Oh, gee, bloody hell! It was supposed to be over. And I still can't leave. <laughs>